Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Learn now from your learning partner. Today, we're going to learn how to create a dashboard in Power BI services, so please watch the complete video so that you don't miss out on your learning. In the previous video, we learned about time intelligence functions in Power BI. If you have not watched that video, then click on the above link. If you're new to Power BI, don't worry, we have created a complete watch list that will guide you step by step, where we explain everything you need to know. In the previous video, we had published our test dashboard to Power BI service, so we're gonna get started by accessing the test report that we published to the service in the previous video. First thing I wanna point out here is the difference in icons. When we published from the desktop to the service, it published both the report, which has a blue icon and it looks like a column chart on it. And it also published the data set, which has an orange icon and it looks like a database icon on it. We want to access the report, so the test report is a link and we're gonna click it and it will navigate us to the report. So this was a simple report that we put together earlier and we're gonna edit it. We wanna add three visualizations to it and we can really get rid of the visualization that's on it. So once you have published to the service, if there are any changes to your reports or even if you wanna create new ones, you can do it in the service. And the way that you do that is by coming up here to the menu and clicking the More Options button. Choose Edit. And this view should look very familiar to you. It's almost exactly the same as the report view in Power by Desktop, so you have your fields and visualizations and filters pane on the right. Let's start by clicking on a blank area of the canvas. And we're gonna add another visualization here. And so we're gonna use the table visualization Find it in your visualizations pane, and we're gonna expand the orders table in the fields pane. And we wanna add the customer segment field to our table. The other field that we wanna add to the table is sales. So in our table, we're seeing customer segments by sales, and we can go ahead and resize that table. We're gonna then add the table, so it's in the upper left hand corner of the page. And we're gonna click on the blank area of the canvas again before I add my next visualization. Let's grab the stacked bar chart visualization, and we're gonna use the same two fields in it that we used in the table. So go ahead and check customer segment in the fields pane and check sales. We're gonna click on the blank area of the canvas. And the last visualization we're gonna add is the card visualization, and we want to just have that show the total sales. We're gonna move the card visualization so it's to the right of the table. And you can see the same red guidelines that are there as when you're in Power BI Desktop. These three visualizations are defaulting to interacting with each other by filtering. So in the table, if I click on Consumer, you'll notice that the card updates to just show the sales for the consumer segment and that the bar chart also updates. So in this way, you can create a dashboard in Power BI services. And that's it. That's how you create a dashboard in Power BI services. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. In the next video, we will see how to pin the report to the dashboard, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Power BI tutorials.